Today, we'll give you all the tools you need to hit the tone with an SG. Demonetization free! Love it! <laughs> uh, I think we're safe. Okay. <laughs> hey everyone, the name is Chris. And my name is Guillaume. Hope you're all having a great day today. And welcome to our SG edition of the tone guide as to how you get all the sounds with insert guitar. All the tools you need. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've seen you. Like, oh. my, my clearest explanation today. Anywho, <laughs> we have started a while ago to do a bunch of videos on uh, how to get the most sounds, how to get, you know, uh, from clean to blues to rock to metal to funk to yep. whatever with several different types of guitars. If you haven't seen those videos, there'll be links somewhere. And we have Strat, we have Tally, we have Les, Les Paul, Paul, we have 335. Yes, uh, that's about it. Actually. Do we have active, think... active pickups? <gasps> yes. Active pickups. Mm. That was one of you guys' recommendation. But obviously True. next on our list was the SG, the Special Guillaume. <laughs> Which is my new favorite guitar. Uh, solid Guillaume. Yeah, solid Guillaume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is one of the cool guitars and it's not, it doesn't get enough attention. Yeah, definitely not. even not. on this channel and we are, we feel bad. Yeah, So absolutely. we are making up for it. Uh, one of the coolest guitars and you will know why in a second. Uh, let's start with clean stuff, I guess. Yeah, so yeah, that's how those videos go. We start with uh, clean, a bit of a, you know, warmer clean, a bit of a funky clean. And then we go on to like staging some gain and we'll go from everywhere from jazz to blues to uh, doom, as usual. <laughs> doom. Uh, Deathcore. Deathcore, yes. Uh, so yeah, let's start with some cleans. Uh, I'll play a little bit and then I explain what the reasoning behind that tone is. And how you got it. And how I got it. What were the tools to get the tone? <laughs> Dude, the, the harmonic content yes. is ridiculous. Yes. The mid-range is what makes an SG so special in my eyes because uh, a Les Paul will have all the warmth, all the glassy overtones and the big tone and whatever. Yeah. Uh, single chord guitars will have all the chime and everything. The SG or semi hollows will have that, that, yeah. that airy tone, like really sweet tone. But an SG has that mid-range that is just so unique and, and um, it, it gives such an articulation and such a sweet harmonic content. Like you can hear all the, the harmonics popping out in a, yes. in a long note. It's Which is a, a pretty solid fun. introduction as to what I usually try and uh, do. Then again, SG is not an instrument I have a lot of experience with, but I really, really want to get to know. But because of that mid-range that sits, uh, at least in my opinion, a little bit higher than oh, what yeah. you'd have on a Les Paul, uh, that allows you to use pedals that can be, you know, a little bit pushy on the mid-range without it being super muddy. Yeah. If you put like a tube screamer on the Les Paul into a clean amp, ah, it's gonna you be know, a, a it's ton of mid-range. Yeah, it might be too much. Probably though. a bit too much, right? So, uh, but in this context, something that adds a little bit of that lower mid-range, uh, like the Archer, uh, which is what I had on everything at, you know, close to twelve o'clock, as long as it's. Everyone's like, yeah, but the circuit activates at like 10. Just like, yeah, put it there. This is fine. This is just <laughs> it's like, pretty it's much a clean good, boost. It's a good pedal. Yeah, just yeah. put it wherever. But uh, so I had that, a bit of delay, a bit of reverb, and that was about it. Um, the thing as well is that unless you want like the dry funk sound, the thing that SG allows you to do is to add that overdrive without it clipping, because I think because of the nature of the guitar, and obviously everyone's going to be like, yeah, but it's also the pickups and whatnot. So, oh, yeah, sure. Uh, fair all enough. Of that. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think it sounds less 
sweet and less compressed than the Les Paul. It's a little bit snappier. Yeah. And so it doesn't just break up the same way. And so even when I was going super percussive, it stayed clean. clean totally. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's the thing that you can absolutely do with that guitar, maybe less so with a Les Paul. Uh, Depends type. on the Les Paul, of course, but if, you, yeah. if we just generalize and say like there's a Les Paul character and yeah, a Les yeah. G character, that, that is a very good explanation of what that is. So that was my uh, warm, clean tone. And whilst I'm plugging yeah. the guitar in, uh, you can uh, maybe mention your amp. Yeah, of course. To... I'm running through uh, that board with the Archer Dane hoof. I suppose that that'll be the doom metal sound, obviously. <laughs> uh, uh, Ampress Nebulous and Echo System for modulation and reverb, and the Strum and Flint for reverb and trem. And I'm running that into the Rev Generator 120 and the PRS cab with Celestion V30. Uh, speakers. I'll be on the clean channel, might swap it later. If I do that, you'll see the color change and I'll also tell you. <laughs> tell you. And on my side, I'll try to give you a more percussive, uh, sort of clear, uh, funk related kind of clean tone, mm. um, less of a warm tone. You were using the neck pickup, I'll Always. go in the in between position because yeah. that's something that is, again, so unique about these guitars. Uh, I'm not having any of the pedals on right now. I will mention whatever I turn on later on. Uh, and I'm using the uh, trusty old Deluxe Reverb with its original, um, I guess, Jensen speaker. Probably. I haven't checked, but must be. Yeah. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Which, uh, I mean, it's as percussive as a single chord guitar. It just has way more attack yeah. because of that mid-range of a humbucker. Yeah. It's... Beautiful. Beautiful. It's a, it's a kind of a guitar that would make me want to practice this kind of percussive funk playing because I enjoy it a lot, but it's, it's, I'm really, you know, sweating. Yeah, it's yeah. really hard. Like Corey Wong, dude, <laughs> it's... So much fun. And these guitars really do justice to every like palm muted clean yeah. tone and whatever, just put on a slight compression and... But it's funny, <laughs> it's funny because that's that kind of guitar that's got such a, uh, an like aesthetic to it. Like it, it has like that vibe and obviously you see Angus Young and you see yeah. the horns and you see everything. Sure. And because of that, it's that like horn. probably more than any other guitar shape, except for everything that goes into, you know, once you go into Explorer or Vs or whatnot. But like out of classic guitar shapes, uh, Strat, Tele, um, Semi Hollow, Les yeah, Paul, yeah. this is the one that people are going to be like, really? Like that, that looks like a, that looks like a metal guitar. Yeah. Like it looks yeah. like a guitar that's just meant for that. And it's, it's kind of weird when you see it played in fun contexts or blues or whatever, but it just, it's, it fits so well for so like that's why I'm so thankful for Derek Trucks not oh, just yeah. for the playing but just like demystifying the fact that you can absolutely use an SG and and yeah let's move on to some slide playing and some uh, crunch uh, stuff uh, you want to start again yeah this is going to be our lower gain kind of yeah. style discovery yeah uh, I guess slide gonna, is one thing that is like so obvious I'm gonna Thank do you, my, Derek, uh, again I'm, I'm gonna do my best direct trucks <laughs> keep it keep it cable, keep it cable. and I try to do something more like traditional blues rocky <laughs>
No, let's not do that. That was a uh, that was Angus. See, <laughs> yeah, but also Eric. Yeah, a little bit. True. And everything. <laughs> yeah, um, I uh, yeah. It's like it's the same guitar, but it does not sound the same at all. That's sorry, um, sorry. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> playing a bit. Um, the the amount of clarity you have on the bridge pickup position and yeah. that that poppiness is just crazy cool. Yeah, and, um, it sounds it sounds just more direct to yeah. me. and and let like, you know, it's hard to say that a Les Paul is like is softer around the edges. Well, because not all of them are, but like I feel like if that were to be a characteristic of the Les Paul versus SG. Yeah, it, oh man, we can make an extra video on that. Because, so it's uh, extra poppy, like it's yeah. just like... Poof. Especially lower gain and especially in the middle position and bridge position. Yeah. The neck pickup position uh, appears to me to be more mid-rangey compared to a Les Paul, which yeah, yeah. sounds a little more... It's weird to say that, but a little more scooped because mm -hmm. it has more of that glassiness, like like super sparkle. Yeah. And this just has that sweet mid-range still, whatever yeah. you uh, do and go on the uh, pickup selector. Yeah. I absolutely adore this, man. And the excess, the excess is just ridiculous. The only thing you have to also, yes. keep in mind is that you should, you know, not break the neck off. I mean, you have to work on it to make that happen, yeah. but oh, yeah. that's the only vulnerability of an SG is that... It, it breaks a bit easier. It's, it's yeah. easier to break the neck pocket section than yeah. on, like, let's say, Les Paul. Or, is that Colin that did a, that video? Yeah, where he Colin Scott did a, yeah. a crazy rescue where the neck broke off probably in a yeah. pretty hardcore gig or whatever. Uh, I've, I mean, it's stable. Don't get me wrong. It's just the the part of the uh the guitar that needs to be sort of okay, in your, kept, uh, kept in, kept in kept mind, mind yeah. protected also if you like the neck wiggle which yes. we do it's so easy to do it on we this do, guitar we do like, like a good wiggle yeah like this this uh You can actually go up and down like half yeah. a tone almost. And uh, you, I'm still really subtle, obviously. I don't want to break this guitar, but um, if you just do this, even a bit wilder, it still works. It's yeah. so cool. All right. High gain. Hi, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I got to I got to stop those jokes. Oh my god. <laughs> Kill the metal. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm trying to kill the metal. That's the purple failed. channel on the rev generator 120, no pedals, just a bridge, a good old bridge humbucker mm -hmm. in an SG. Uh, originally used by uh, Kerry King, as I hear. No, I'm kidding, I'm joking. I'm <laughs> Probably I'm joking. not. No, but that was used, I think, on Tenacious D, though. At least when I saw them live, he was playing that through an SG. Yeah, I mean, uh, he had a BC Rich and an SG all the time, so yeah. I, yeah, one yeah. of those, but... <sighs> so, okay, okay. You know, How it's, it's still cool. a humbucker with the, the upper mid-range, and you put that through a heavy amp or a heavy pedal, and it does the thing. Glorious. Rather beautifully. What, what you gonna do? What's your, uh, is it Doom? Are we at Doom yet? <laughs> Doom's my favorite. <laughs> Doom's my favorite. Uh, I was thinking something more like Dead Rocky. Dead Rocky, okay. We're just stepping back on the game a little bit. Mm. That makes sense. That makes sense. No, it doesn't make any sense, but I'll do it anyway. <laughs>
that is the wrong song. Yeah, I mean, what, what, what is dead rock even? Uh, to me, 2000s is dead rock. Yeah, it's uh, that was a already. It was a Bonamassa, uh, Bonamassa uh, drop dead rock type of situation. Still played through Deluxe Reverb though. So yeah. Well done. Um, yeah. Oh, by the way, I was using the um, uh, Wamper Tumnus Deluxe uh, to push uh, the guitar signal, and that pushed the BB preamp by Exotic Effects, which had most of the gain, and that went into the super clean sounding deluxe That's true. reverb. Um, yeah, it's again that super percussive. Yeah, clear. I feel I feel like you know we usually try to keep it like kind of as a recipe for people to like achieve that kind of sound with that guitar, or that kind of sound with that guitar. The thing was that SG because of that like inherent mid range and that lack of compression, it just kind of takes everything. Yeah. It's the easiest it's guitar just, to like, deal with, actually. Yeah, you can use it with like mid push pedals, broader type of overdrives, distortion, super high gain stuff. Like it cuts through because of that, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, EQ shape. Works it's, so great with uh, vintage Marshalls. Yeah, right, yeah Angus? of course. And you can also plug it in a, a Mesa or a Rev or whatever, a modern amp and just chug yeah, like, yeah. all day. Absolutely. And uh, still, like if you want to use it for like jazz blues stuff and like super solely warm tones, yeah, yeah. sure, of course. I mean, no, still works. Phenomenal it guitar, but it's kind of hard to make a video of how to get that sound. It's like, well, you just, you know. Do whatever. Do whatever. <laughs> It works. <laughs> It'll work. That's pretty much uh, the yeah, quintessential it. message here. No, but yeah, I yeah. I really I really have a newfound love for for SGs and uh, yeah, it's expensive. I mean, it's, the, <laughs> it's expensive love. It's way less expensive than a Les Paul. Yeah, for sure. You, yeah, but no, still, yeah. Good. I mean, this guitar is a uh, um, by the way a production US model. It's like the sixty one reissue normal production. Yeah. Go check the prices in the description. Below, there's a gear link. Yeah. Uh, so it's not a custom shop even. We have a custom shop right there, but we didn't dare touching it again. We just shot a video with yeah. it. Uh, because we didn't want to over, you know, like stretch your nerves and yeah, 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 <laughs> make yeah, you like, mad. So yeah, to a, make an SG sound like that, you need an 8,000 euro yeah. custom shop yeah. SG. <laughs> like, of course, it's a very it's sweet a guitar, very good guitar. But you don't need that kind of money to get a really, really good SG, yeah. where you would literally not have to touch anything. Do anything. It is perfect as yeah. it is. So yeah, I am in love, and uh, so <laughs> is Mr. I, I Chanel. Am. All right, and on that, I hope you guys enjoyed that video, uh, that maybe you've learned a few things about SGs, maybe you weren't familiar other, outside of just Angus Young, you know, Uh, but, yeah. Or Tony Iommi. Or Tony Iommi. Uh, but anyways, hope that was useful. Hope that was fun. If so, uh, please give us a like. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell so that you get notified when we put out new videos. Uh, and let us know what, what instrument. Yeah. You, yeah. You, what, yes. what, sh what shape? What type of guitar would you like to see next? Do you want us to... Uh, To, do you want Chris to play jazz on an Explorer? Do you want us to struggle to sit down with V's? Let us know, anything's possible. <laughs> we're we're not saying we'll, with V's. <laughs> I'm not saying we'll make it, I'm saying you can ask us to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, read you down there in the comments below, let us know what kind of guides, tone guide video you want to see. Uh, let us know in the comments if you want to learn how to wrap a guitar cable that tidy, that narrow. <laughs> Because uh, if he was going to make a hit the cable episode on it, probably. You guys take it easy. Leave us a comment. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Bye. I was holding a big. Bye. Bye.